Hey guys, what is up? It's Mysterium Effects here bringing you a brand new intro template. Um, and I'll be teaching you how to edit it. Now, before I start this tutorial, I've just got to say thank you so much for the support recently. Uh, I've almost hit half a thousand subscribers. For those of you that don't know math, that's 500. And uh, I just want to say thank you for all the support. You know, when I started this channel, I thought oh, I'll probably get 300, maybe 400, but 500, that I never thought about that. Um, my all-time goal is 1,000, so if we can even get half of that, that would still be just insane to me. So um, I just want to thank you guys so much, and without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is just keep in mind that this is only for um, eight letter or under names, meaning that if you have a longer name, you'll probably have to abbreviate it. Like, uh, my name is way longer than that. I think it's either, I think it's uh, 11 letters. I'm not too sure on that, maybe it's 12, but yeah, my name is very long. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to abbreviate to um, something else. Uh, let's see, Misty, that's a cool name. So what I'll do now is I'll delete all of these by right-clicking on them and then holding down shift and right-clicking on everything else and then pressing X and then delete, like so. Hold down shift, right-click, 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 X and delete. Shift, right-click, 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 X and X. Oops, X and press Z. X and then delete and um, now I'm going to edit the template um, to do this you can just simply right click then press tab then press backspace then press M or whichever letter you want it to be and press tab and then right click backspace I mean right click tab backspace text tab now just keep on doing that procedure and like with all the texts and then eventually you'll have your name typed in so I'm just gonna go do that real quick wait is that the now um what you'll notice with this is that there's a huge gap over there for some reason and that is um fixable um, I don't really know if that's a word but anyway you can fix that actually by simply right clicking on these things and then dragging them over so I'm gonna do that right now boom boom and boom alright so um, this is most likely off-center I'm just gonna try to see if it is by pressing view, then camera, and then play. Uh, it's off center to be sure. So, um, what we'll do is we'll right click the first letter or the first weird thing. I don't really know what shape that is. Hold down shift and press right click on all the other ones. And then now we'll just drag it over to the middle. Um, so, you know, you have this, you have all your text edited, but it doesn't look like the intro that you saw before. So, um, in order to make it look like that, you have to render it. Um, if you are a Mac user like me, then you're good to go. You can just pre re press render and then animation. However, if you use Windows, you'll have to press on this camera icon up here. Switch to this from QuickTime to, um... H.264 and now you can just go down to encoding, scroll down a bit, and make this into AAC. Now you're good to render it. Um, I automatically have the output set as your desktop, so don't worry about that. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, so see ya. <laughs> 